Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting this beautiful seascape, sea waves and as you can see I mostly used green colors, maybe unusual, but for some sandy beach and shallow waters I think this color is perfect and I do love how it turned out. So without further ado, let's get to painting. I did map in on my paper a couple of lines that are going to be waves here I'm gonna show you and I just have to zoom my camera and this is not good so well there you go you can see now there are a couple of lines those are lines for the waves and also for the beach and nothing complicated just made myself some guides where I'm gonna place everything and for the colors I will be using some leftover colors and I did have them from before from earlier paintings so I decided to use them and also I will start with privetting the entire paper I will do that with, with this larger flat brush that is I think quite nice you can use any larger brush for privetting also I did add one more ball with also some paints that I wanted to paint in the beach and I think this is the mix of Mars Brown in which I've added just a little bit of ultramarine and as you can see nothing complicated I've just painted in the beach added some darker spots and then moved to painting the sea and I used mix of this is olive green and green and to paint in the waves and also where I've draw in the parts where my waves are gonna be I've added a little bit of the darker color and I also left some places a little bit lighter and now I've added just a little bit of uh, turquoise blue and also painted in between and on some of the parts that I used that earlier mix and same thing with this mix of Mars Brown and Ultramarine. I've also added it here and there just to make some contrast and interest to my C. For the darker parts in my C, I will be using first mix of Azure and turquoise blue and then later on I will add some indigo and also I'm adding it here and there to my entire sea because I do want some parts to look a little bit darker and some to look a little bit lighter and this is now indigo and I've added just a little bit of green in that indigo just to give it that color that is already in my sea and to make it all harmonious. I'm now adding a couple of details to my C and as you can see right now I'm using a small round brush and this part is actually quite similar to painting the sky with some clouds so that is just something to keep in mind and after my paint completely dried I moved on to the second layer and I did privet my paper before starting with the second layer but just be careful when privetting not to pick up a lot too much of your paint so just use just a little amount of water and light light pressure to your paper as you can see I'm not moving in horizontal or vertical strokes but I'm just wiggling my brush here and there because I think that is the best way to stay within the lines that are already on my paper on my C and if you would go just with a straight line you could be smudging your paint in a straight straight line and just leaving those ugly markings and this is the reason why I've prevented it like that I wiggled my brush and it actually helped me not to move the paint in the directions that I did not want it to move and right now I am using mix of green and with a little bit of the neutral black to paint in that darker parts that those maybe are that stone some uh, grasses some plants on the sea bottom and now I've added just a little bit of neutral black to paint in even darker parts during next couple of minutes I will be painting some details to the sea using this smaller round brush and also I will be using a liner brush for even smaller details and right now I'm adding those while my paper is still wet 
but also I will be adding details while the paint is and paper are drying. Those lines I drew in earlier where the waves are gonna be are also my guides where I want to put the darkest parts. So those lines that you can see right now are actually the lines I drew for the waves and I do want the bottom of the wave to be the darkest and also in between waves I'm adding a couple of lines again mimicking maybe some smaller waves or maybe some grasses on the bottom of the sea. part where my sea is meeting the beach. I'm adding also a bit of Mars brown underneath the waves and also on the beach and making that look as though there is some wet sand over there and so that is the reason why I'm using also this Mars brown and also a little bit into the sea. As you can see that latest that lowest part is actually the part where the beach starts and with the sepia I'm adding some darker parts again mimicking some shadows or maybe some dirt on the beach and underneath that part that is the last wave that is the last place wet from the water I'm adding just a little bit of mix of I think this is Mars Brown and ultramarine painting it and making it look like a wet sand and right now again this is almost dry the paint is almost dry and the paper is almost dry and I'm using this liner brush to paint in the again some shadows on the waves and this time I'm using as you can see just a little amount of paint and it is very watered down not diluted diluted <laughs> it is diluted not saturated at all and just with a liner brush painting in the smallest details tiniest lines again you know looking like there is something on the bottom of the sea and also maybe something on the sea itself some smaller waves And when finished with those details in the sea for now I'm moving on to painting the beach and I'm using mix of Mars Brown and ultramarine I did turn around my paper and then paint it in the line then I rinsed my brush and smudged that line and that when we turn around the paper will be the part of the beach that is further away from us and right now I will be using this brush this pretty much pretty stiff brush perfect for sprinkling to add some sprinkles in that darkest part of my sea where those plants are and also when finished with those I will be using some Mars Brown and ultramarine to do the same sprinkles same sprinkling technique into my beach now the paper is completely dry i mixed in some green and cadmium yellow medium to get that even more neon green and painted in the second layer of my sea as you can see right now it just 
popped straight away. It was looking too dull and I want it to be a little bit more vibrant. So I've added that mix and also added a little bit of the green and added here and there. Then I let it to dry completely and afterwards I'm using some white gouache to paint in the foam, see foam on my waves. And first I started off with painting some lines and then later on I will add some sprinkles and smudge that those lines and well it will take a while so I will slightly speed it up and I hope you'll enjoy. While using a white gouache and doing those foamy details, I've lost some shadows and darker spots in my waves. So I decided to use a liner brush and to add some shadows just underneath the waves and also here and there on my painting. At the end I've also added a couple of more sprinkles with white gouache and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all your support. I really do appreciate that a lot. If you do like this video please hit the like button, share it, comment, give me your suggestions. I always love to read your comments. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. That would really mean a lot to me. And if you want to go a step further, think about joining my channel. More about that you can find out if you press that join button next to the subscribe button, read the offer and then decide whether or not you want to join. Thank you so much again for watching. And without further ado, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.